Welcome to Blueprint IoT. This video is very special because we will unbox the Volterra V1 PCB printer. So you may or may not have heard of them, but Volterra is building basically like a 3D printer, but it's not really 3D, it's basically 2D, and you can print circuit boards. So everything that you may etched in the past or used um, milling process or whatever, or you may just use breadboards, you can now just print on it. So that's super cool. And we had the possibility to get our hands on one of those machines. This video is not sponsored by Volterra or anything. So you can expect a bunch of honest reviews and tests of the machine. So as we already started with the unboxing process, you can see there are basically two boxes. One is for the drill attachment and one is for the main printer. There are a bunch of handbooks included, but that's basically just technical instructions or technical specs and not really a manual. But this actually doesn't matter because Volterra has a bunch of videos on their YouTube channel, which I will link right here in the upper right corner. There are a bunch of cables, of course, power supply and data cable. The data cable is unfortunately USB B on the printer side and USB-A on the computer side. So you always need an adapter for USB-C in case you're not living in the Middle Ages. Next thing we are unboxing here are a bunch of like little attachments for the printer. And as you see, I'm a bit confused by what's going on here, but there are magnets attached to these little devices. And those magnets are actually the fixture of those um, of those little helpers or injectors. So you can just put those tools or devices onto the main machine just by snapping it onto it, totally powered by magnets. That's super cool. Those little strips here, aluminum strips, are basically just to hold down the PCB board on the printer. And now we are about to discover the printer itself. Here we go with a little tool or like yeah accessory box of course we have a bunch of like yeah just stuff that comes with it that i think i think it's super cool because normally you would have to buy this separately those are basically the nozzles plastic nozzles for the for the ink and those are one way use this is a little swamp or yeah a little sponge a little sponge to um, finish the, the the surface of the of the pcb after printing they ship also a bit of soldering wire, which is a special soldering um, soldering wire that uh, has a low melting point. So it's around 200 degrees or 180 degrees. So that's a uh, degree Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So that's very special because normally you would expect something more at 250 or 300 degrees at least. So, and they rec recommend to use this because it's more um, safe for the rest of the printed circuit board to solder at a lower temperature. Otherwise you have the risk of damaging your actual uh, circuits that are printed by the, by the V1 Volterra printer. All right, we're getting to the main machine. I think this was packed a bit tricky because this, this little plastic cover is very slippery and I was like very afraid of just dropping the machine but eventually found a way to unbox it. But yeah, that was like very well packaged, but difficult to get it out. Once we have the first look on the main printer, I think it's pretty relatively small, but it, that's fine because the circuit boards are normally not that big. And it's quite heavy, it's well built, it's all metal, and it's all very, very nicely and, and high quality built. Like you see little details and every nuts and bolts, everything is really top quality. There's a separate parcel here for the drilling attachment. I don't know why that's a separate thing because you can order it only together anyway. You always get those little cards where what's inside this box. So everything is really nicely done. Of course, this manual slash security instructions, whatever. And there we have it. That's basically the drill attachment in the upper right corner. Of course, there's also some power supply cables included. And that's a kind of a weird thing. Uh, the drill needs a separate power supply. So that's basically the power supply 
wire to to the drill attachment itself so you have to power the machine you have to power the printer and you have to power the drill itself that's a separate power supply unit for this uh, for this printer so of course it could be nicely done with some connector but the connectors are basically only for data and not and only for small amounts of, of power for the injectors but not for the drill there's another bunch of different raw material for the PCBs that's nice to have I think and you can order them also online on Volterra's page but you can also order it anywhere else. Of course there's a bunch of cable ties and whatever to probably to fix this kind of extra wire that's yeah a bit weird and a bit difficult to handle as you will see in the following videos but anyway it's there and those are basically the wires so in case you want to connect the top and the bottom layer of the PCB you can run the little connection out of copper through there that's something you have to insert manually we get a bunch of drills or drill bits um, as, a, as a default and we get this funny tool which you actually use to hammer in those copper those copper tubes to create this connection between the top and the bottom layer and that's the actual drill machine and by the way if you want to order this drill machine separately or this this box it's like another 750 i guess um, depending on your country and yeah quite quite an expensive one for this little machine but if you order the printer it comes all in one one package i think the drill machine looks pretty nice and also we, again high quality but yeah, it's only one, and if you have two with the magnetic with the magnetic um, fixture, I think it would be also nice to just have separate several drilling machines to just snap on the next one with the next drill bit already installed, so you don't have to change the drill bits. But yeah, that's an expensive one. Those little black plates you saw just now—that's basically you have to put it underneath the PCB while drilling so you're not drilling into the machine itself and it's very thin it's like one or two millimeters in thickness so pretty impressive that the, the, the drill bit can basically recognize the, the height and drill only the amount that's needed last but not least that's the actual ink we need to print on the PCB quite expensive one a hundred bucks one of those little ink boxes but anyway that's all for unboxing. Make sure to be subscribed to see more content like this when we actually start using the Volterra and explaining everything around how it works and do a proper review. Thanks for watching. Make sure to be subscribed and see you next time.